Today we're going to focus on TEKS 4.2b, Expanded Notation. Expanded Notation is basically expanding or opening the number up and determining the value of each digit. My first step is to build a place value chart around the number so that I can organize each piece. All right, so let's start here with our ones place. Most of us fourth graders should already know this is gonna be our ones, so capital O, tens, so capital T, hundreds, so capital H, and this comma lets me know that the next place value is the thousands, which is a capital T, lowercase h ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. For fourth grade, this may be new to you. This piece here is my decimal. We also call it and. This next digit, or my five, is value is called the tenths place. And we use a lowercase t for tenths place. And then my six is called the hundreds place and I put a lowercase h. One way I like to remember it is this can represent dimes and this can represent my pennies. So we would call this 1,347 and 56 hundreds or 1,347 dollars and 56 cents. Okay, now let's get into expanded notation. Very simple. Each digit represents a value. This is my thousands. So this would be one group of 1,000. Because I have one in the thousands place. Plus, in the hundreds is a three. Three groups of 100 plus four groups of 10 plus, that's right, seven groups of ones. Let's continue. Now, what would this look like? Hmm, five tenths. I'm still going to write five groups, but now I'm going to write zero and one tenth or one dime. And last but not least, six groups of hundreds. So that'll be six groups of zero decimal zero one. Okay. So I have each place value and its digit on my expanded notation. You may see questions that has it not only in decimal form, but in fraction form. So what would one tenth look like? Five groups of one over 10. These are the same. This is the decimal form. This is the fraction form. Let's do the same thing for six and one hundredth. Well, one tenth was one over ten. So one hundredth would be one over one hundred. And that's expanded notation. But you could get this type of question. What is the value of the four? in this number. Well, the four is here, and we know it's four tens, so the value of the four is 40. I know that because I have four in the tens place, also four times 10 is 40. Let's try one more. What would be the value 
of the five in this number. Well, my five is here in the tenths place, and it's also here. Think about it. Five dimes, five tenths, or what will be the value of five dimes? Well, value of the five is five dimes. If I had five dimes, that would equal two five tenths or 50 cents. So remember, always use a place value chart first to organize and align each place value and then simply write each place values value down separately.